Hello, this is another tough video, tell a friend video, um, and this time on uh, uh, the subject how values are being created and persisted in a society, in, uh, let's say, in the world, uh, or in the, as I then showed, in the system, in the current system. I've done a, a few um, earlier videos on that and um, I, uh, which are, when I look at them, which are still completely true. Uh, however, um, you know, this is kind of a, a summary of many things and this is how the learning process usually works. It's like when you think for the first time about something, it's too simple. It's oversimplifying. Then in the second step, it's uh, too complex. You have, you now thinking about it, you learn so many things and then you are completely confused, but you, you create some kind of solution to it. And then after, and as this may take years, and then after some time, you get it just right, you know, so, and then everybody says, yeah, sure, that's how you do it. But the, the process is too simple, too complicated, just right. And um, this is not, yeah, and, and this continues, obviously. Then you put this on a greater scale, you add it with many other things, and you condense it into a new thing, and that goes on. So this is this fractal, uh, fractal uh, principle, you know, self contained You always continue and continue. This is, but that's a nice thing. So in, in life, that's in philosophy and so on. That's a nice thing. It always continues. Um, now, I, I wanted to concentrate on the values, like an invention or somebody creates something. The value could even be to, to raise a family, to have kids, and these are the values. So how do you create them? So um, what do you need to create them? So if you think about a kid or a patent, an idea, an iPhone, a phone, um, a, a car or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's some value you create. It's even ideas, you know, philosophical ideas. And then you create them. So it, during the creation process, you need some system that sustains you, that feeds you, that um, gives you the environment, uh, the, 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 the tranquility, or sometimes you don't need tranquility. Sometimes you need uh, the, uh, the excitement. It doesn't matter, but it's a system that sustains you, that you are alive. And then you have your idea, but then you have to persist it it has to live on and others build on it and create something from it. And so I defined like, and, and one of the key things is uh, when you create, it's, you are active. So we are with creation, I, I put this in green, we, we are directly linked to activity. You are active while many people are passive. You know, many, most people are passive and they just function like, I sometimes say like animals, it doesn't matter how you call it. They, they just are completely passive. And uh, obviously they think they are active, but um, everybody thinks he's active. And in a certain way, he's active, at least his body and his metabolism and whatever is, is active, you know. But uh, of, often this, this is reactive and active, passive. You know, so um, so I defined the values or divide the values into intellectual and then labor. So here this is like the ideas of somebody, a philosopher, a quantum physics and so on. So this is things you, you would not directly use. Then it's kind of more this science things, which then goes into like the engineering things. And then you produce something out of it. Here, maybe you define, you, you, you have patterns. Patents, I should have written in black or something, patents. Uh, and then you produce these, so the industry, but you also have food and, uh, you, you know, your all life issue, things, um, which is uh, like build houses and like the down to earth things, which are not so much industry, but these may be uh, much together, like food industry, uh, housing industry, build houses in the factory and so on. But so you, you have kind of from active to, to, to then more passive jobs. Um, this was for here. Uh, and uh, here, this is, this, uh, is kind of from ideas to then very concrete things you do 
um, on the soil, you do on your house, you do uh, growing food and so on. Um, now, uh, I, I mentioned um, how values are. You need a system to create values. And this is kind of, kind of this system, which uh, I've done some videos on, um, is mainly based on power, status, it's violent, it's money-based, because money is power, money is status, and so on. So violent, and so on. So violent, I usually do with a like a flash. Um, and then within this system, you have little entities of people, several people that have ideas and create something. And obviously, at a certain point, this idea is then taken into the system and the system then multiplies it, you know. And so this is kind of the key here is you have an inventor and you have a manager. The, the manager being read here, he is part of the system, you know, of the system. I left the system here black because I, I want to show another thing here, how, what a system could look like. It doesn't have to be always based much on this power and violence and so on. Um, uh, okay, so the key is you have an inventor. You know, you usually is that kind of this smart, nice guy. Mustn't be. It doesn't have to necessarily be. But uh, you have this this nice. Um, uh, what is it, idealistic person that works for 24 hours a day for many years and then comes up with something, with a piece of art, music, uh, with a philosophical idea and so on. And then the system grabs that, you know, because then you have the manager and the manager is kind of, is this power guy. He is the professional manager of power in here. So he manages the red parts here. Uh, and then obviously the manager has, uh, it is a very, very difficult to not become a devil. I, uh, I like this should be kind of the devil. Yeah. So, yeah. With a, so uh, that, that is very, very difficult as a, as a manager to not turn into a kind of some evil person. Why? And this is uh, what I will now end. The system is when you look back a million years, yeah, one million years back, you will have had 50 people, 100 people, 30 people as a tribe uh, uh, being nomadic, um, like moving around. Now, these people here, they have done the production here. They have invented some little things, but they have no value. Uh, it, it, they, they, they persist it in their group. You know, so they have made a few inventions, but they, they, they have only 50 people, so they can not specialize. So they might have kids who play, then the elderly people, the old people who kind of take care of the kids, educate them and so on. So and then they have female, which kind of more look after the family of the kids. And then they have um, they have uh, the male usually stronger, physically stronger, that uh, hunt and that defend the group. And then obviously, and here the system starts, you know, and then you have a head, which is in many cases the father of many of these children. And so this, this little group went on for 10,000s of generations without having this, uh, this explosion of knowledge. And then only when, and the, the, the reason was environmental, they were able to grow food, like grain and so on, and then bake bread and so on. And so the grain wasn't nomadic, so they had to move. And so, but with the grain, they all stayed, um, you know, with the grain and they created villages and they grew to like a thousand people. If you have a thousand people, then one could be the locksmith, one could be the one that does uh, the, the music instruments, one does this and that. Music was very, very, very important um, because they, they joined the groups, it, they loved it and they relaxed and they, so the music was good and they were also used for war uh, to, to have uh, like uh, songs uh, to to go to war, but uh, music was very important. But uh, weapons and so they and, and the, the different crafts and so on. And then they moved kind of ten thousand people, the big 
cities like when you have 10,000 people you can special people you can special very much and then you create um, you create a lot you have a lot of ideas and can persist them because the system and now this system becomes um, I, I don't want to say evil but uh, this system then becomes already a status power system where you have specialists that only are managers that only manage things. So they don't invent, but they manage. And obviously, they are in control. So, and, but they, they offer, yes, inventor, I persist your system. And then maybe they kill him if they don't care about him. They, they care more about power status, about that. Um, if they're clever, they might keep him, you know, because he might have other inventions. And then now our society grew, 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 grew. And now we are this globalized society of 9 billion people. And here, obviously, this system is extremely uh, big. It's extremely specialized. You have uh, different levels of managers, uh, like levels of people that are only and really only interested in power and states. That's all they, they know, which is a good trade. It's like, I'm, I'm a farmer, I'm a manager, I'm a, um, you know, a tycoon, and I know how to play with power. I know how to... Uh, play all these things. So, um, and for, for somebody that is a tycoon here, he sees these people also as resources so he can juggle with them. And he has all the means, you know, he has money, he has violence, um, so he can make uh, uh, arrangements and so on. He can make laws and so, so, so this is what, what we have. But very important is uh, now, we live in this system. This is the system. We, we cannot say, now, cancel the system. You know, we cannot say, some, some Robin Hood type people might say, we cancel this, we cancel this, we cancel all that. And then we, and now this is the big question that I want to rise, raise with this video is, uh, now, what, and there are some ideas for that, how to replace system with, I don't know, System one to system X, system, you know, kind of power to the people. Power to the people means that each one has to kind of communicate. And usually it ends up in a hierarchy. And then usually it ends up that in the hierarchy, you will have more and more, you know, powerful people there. So you have kind of the, the sheep and the, the active sheep. It doesn't matter. You know, it's there you have here, and the more you go up, it's more this power game. So these are specialized on their trades, and then at a certain point, you need to be more a manager, and then at a certain point, you become only a manager, and then that's the big problem. Then you are the king, you know, the emperor, um, and then uh, you develop, you know, these thoughts of uh, I'm the best, and. Very important, nice um, in uh, Glass Perlenspiel from Hesse. This is uh, now if you once you are here in this position, uh, you, you you know Hesse described that or uh, Knecht uh, was the character in the play. He described that if you are, uh, um, uh, I think it was a Maharaja, an Indian Maharaja. If you become that, then because he showed he was a, a, a shepherd and then became Maharaja. And then once you're in that position, you have no possibility then to fight. You have to, to, to play the game, otherwise you're out. And in the end, what happened? Uh, as Hesse wrote, and that's so fantastic, he wrote that he fought, and uh, he idealistically, when he moved into that position, almost moved into that position, uh, he created uh, a library, he created arts and uh, the nice things. He didn't want to, f to create wars, but the other countries, they, or one, uh, one, one country that uh, he had to fight against, they started to fight. And he had to enter that game because you don't stay in that power system. You move down in the hierarchy. You move down and moving down, that's very, very important. You, you have an excellent position here. Where do you move down? Where? You have no, 
You, you, you are not in the green spot. You are only a power person. So once you are king, the only trait you have, the only craft you have is power. So you, you will have to fight. You will have to fight. And so it's a kind of the system uh, has to stay like that. Um, because a, a person that is in, in this top range here, if he doesn't play in his trade, which he knows, the power game, then he's out. He's out. He's gone. That's it. And uh, Hesse described that as well, because this guy then, uh, at least in his, this Maharaja, then kind of moved, at least in his dreams, he left that open, moved back to become like a guru in the woods. You know, so uh, th therefore, I, I think Hesse was a, Hermann Hesse was an excellent author and, you know, he he knew that he knew exactly that what i describe here so thank you very much for listening um i hope you enjoyed it comments are as always very welcome and have a great day bye bye